There are several YouTube videos showing how to make a dark field condenser for a compound microscope. In this video I focus on making a dark field condenser for a stereo microscope. But first uh, a few words about a compound microscope. Making a dark field patch dot for a compound microscope is normally straightforward, especially if there's a filter holder on the condenser. So all you need is to make a, a small patch from uh, some black electrical tape and a transparent uh, food container. Just draw a circle about 32 millimeters diameter to make the uh, transparent patch and then add a centre circle made out of a black electrical tape that you can cut from something like a dime to get a 17 millimeter circle. Just pop that in the filter holder and make sure the condenser iris is fully open and then put your sample on the stage and wrap the condenser up so you get the dark field effect. Making a dark field condenser for a stereo microscope is a little bit more involved because there's no condenser. Most stereoscopes have a, a plate, a 95mm diameter, uh, sitting just above a light, these days often a little LED light. So we have to make a condenser to get the dark field effect. That can be fairly straightforward. All you need is a jar like Talanti ice cream that's got a lid that's 95 millimeters diameter and a Coke can that's got a nice reflective internal surface. So here's the summary of the dark filled condenser. So it's made from a lid that sits over the top of the microscope and acts as a stage. There's a Coke can or some other soft drinks can that's got a shiny inside. This is the top of the can that has been uh, cut off and then stuck with tape. And then the final component we need is the backstop, which is a piece of electrical tape around the circle stuck on a, a bigger diameter clearer plastic sheet and again we can stick this inside the condenser using uh, clear tape. So the principle is that the direct light from the lamp is blocked but the light that comes from the side reflects off the side walls of the coke can and goes into the sample here but that background light misses the objectives so the objective sees just a black background unless there's something in this region to scatter the light. An alternative arrangement is to use the bottom of the Coke can with a hole in it for the, and that this now sits on the light source. Again we need our black patch about halfway between the sample and the lamp to optimise the amount of reflected light. In this case we put a bit of foil on the underside to reflect the upcoming light which then cuts down, hits the Coke can that's got this convex shape and that reflects up the side walls again. So depending on the space either stick the coke can to the uh, lid jar or rest it on the lamp or you can do a combination of both. So the first thing we do is we check the field of view and we're going to make a condenser that works with the three times objective, ten times IP, so we've got thirty times magnification overall so we put a ruler under the microscope and just check how much we can see, which in this case turns out to be 12 millimetres field of view. So we take our ice cream container, which conveniently has a little dimple in the middle, and then just drill out a 12 millimetre hole. And that I've done using a, a drill, uh, followed by using a reamer just to uh, enlarge the, the hole to 12 millimetres. The coke can we need to cut. We can remove the top with a uh, tin can opener and then just cut and scissors work perfectly well. I find it quite useful to use some masking tape just to get the height right. And also this stops the, uh, the can from kinking. The height we need to make 
Um, there's two ways we can design this. We can either stick the uh, Coke can on the inside of the lid uh, and then position our stock in the middle here. Or we can take the bottom of the Coke can and cut out a hole which will sit nicely over the LED light in the microscope so that will sit there and this has the advantage that it will reflect extra light up from the bottom. So either way uh, should work. Uh, cutting a coke can is straightforward. Uh, best just to go into the height you want, mark with the tape, uh, just stick some nail scissors in and then cut Once you've gone round once, you can go around and smooth it off. Uh, the coat can can be a bit sharp, so careful not to... Uh... So that's our first attempt, and now we can clean up. Making a nice smooth cut. So uh, for this case we can drill a hole in the bottom here, it uh, needs to be in, for my uh, light, 22mm diameter. Again you can do that with scissors, best to just dr drill a hole to start with and then carefully cut round in a spiral having marked your diameter there. So uh, that's a bit more tricky to do but possible. So now we need to make the patch stop. So Take our clear piece of plastic from a food container, place our Coke can and just mark the diameter. And then cut round the inside of the circle so that it just fits snugly inside the can. which we now stick with a piece of clear tape. So now we've got our clear circle, now we need to put the patch stop in the middle, so we measure the centre. So there's the uh, centre point. Take our piece of tape. out using a uh, penny as a template. And then to position the uh, backstop in the right place I find it best to use tweezers and so just lift the uh, tape off and then centre. Over the dot. And that's now your dark fill condenser using uh, just resting on the bottom. So that sits in the microscope like that. 
and then we place our Talante stage on top there and now when we turn the light on we should just get a cone of light coming out either side but nothing directly into the objective. But when we put our sample on, we have say a Petri dish containing pond water, then the little bugs swimming around will reflect the light into the sample and you'll see the bright objects on a dark background, a dark field illumination. On a alternative way, uh, depending on uh, the shape of the light, whether you've got access to uh, put in this dark field condenser, there you can see it in operation, uh, is to just take the backstop onto the top of the ice cream lid and that then will just rest on the top. So it really depends on how much space you've got, which design works, or you can use a combination of both. The other thing you can do is put a piece of silver paper or aluminum foil on the bottom end of the stop. That will reflect the main beam down and give you extra light if you need it. That's not really necessary, but um, something you can do. So that's dark field illumination. So let's check it out how it works. Uh, so I have a sample here of some pond sludge. Uh, we look at bright field first. And I see brown sludge with a few microbes swimming around. But you see there's a very bright background in uh, this mode of illumination. Now let's switch to dark field. So this is now dark field and I see nothing but if I turn up the illumination we now get microbes and the sludge backlit in dark field illumination. You can see a lot more in terms of uh, motile organisms.